Hey guys, what's happening? Steve here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Here is another video tutorial for you today. Uh, if you're just finding us on our YouTube page for the first time, please stroll over to our website. It's GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, on that website, you're going to find a lot of useful information. Uh, we're just starting to put together some blog videos and a bunch of these screencast videos. So I'm really pumped to get this information out there. And uh, any questions, comments you guys have, please feel free to leave them uh, to help us better serve you. So. Uh, first thing you want to do is have your Adobe Photoshop open, uh, which it is on here, and you want to come up uh, to the top left file, and you want to go to New. This is what we're doing. We're setting up a new document. So you can either click this, or you can hit a hot key shortcut, which is Command N. So we're going to click New, and the first thing it's going to ask us to do is to name our document. Very important because you're gonna, you might be, you know, looking for this later on, and the only way you're gonna be able to find it is from what you, you know, named it. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size. Um, right now, it's the units are inches. Just know that you can actually change these to whatever you're com more comfortable with. Uh, I personally more comfortable with inches. I also understand pixels and points, uh, but I want to just stick with this for now. Um, I'm going to be designing a business card or setting this up with the with the anticipation of designing a business card. So we're going to set the width to three and a half and the height to two. That's a standard business card. Um, resolution: the minimum you ever want to set this at for a print document is 300. Some people get away with 150 or 200. I mean, you can get away with it, but it's it's just not going to look very crisp and clear when you print it. Uh, from having uh, experience in the printing field, um, you want everything to be 300 resolution. All your photos, it's kind of like, to understand it, it's pixels per inch. So it's the more pixels per inch you have, the more your re the, the better quality image you're going to have. If you ever notice, when you pull off an image from the internet and you print it out, internet images are automatically uh, uploaded at 72 resolution which is much lower than 300. What happens is the 72 resolution, it looks great on screen and it makes the web pages load faster because they're lower sized image, but still good quality viewing images. So when you print those out, it, they're not gonna look crisp and clear because they're not 300 resolution. So know that when you're setting up anything for print, it's gotta be 300 resolution and the color mode has to be CMYK. Um, printing is done out of these four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. That's the K. And they're what make up the whole color scheme for print. RGB is a viewing of red, green, and blue, and that's all screen color. So if you're, to make this really simple, if you're printing, you want 300 resolution and you want your color mode at CMYK. If you're going to web, if you're building a web banner, if you're building a web page, or web icons through Photoshop, you want your resolution at 72, okay? And you want your color mode at RGB. Very important, guys, because if you have to change this stuff later on in your document, things are gonna alter color-wise. And uh, you, you, can get, you, you could possibly get some distortion when you start to change the resolution while you're midway through a project. So you don't wanna lose quality and you don't wanna get frustrated. So let's go back one quick second. Uh, to where we were before, 300 resolution, color mode, we gotta switch that to CMYK. And you could uh, you could select what you want your background to start with. I like to start with a white background, excuse me. And we're gonna hit okay, and here is our new document. All right, if you hit Command R, you're gonna see the rulers pop up, and it's gonna show it's three and a half by two. Perfect, this is exactly what we want. Now we're ready to do uh, what we started to do. So. The last thing we need to do is go to File, Save As, which is also Shift-Command-S. And we're going to name this. A test document's already in there, but it's not actually saved yet. It's just the document is named. So, guys, save frequently. I've lost some things uh, throughout time and uh, it made me a very unhappy camper. So, Desktop is where I'm saving this for now just for this tutorial. I'm going to hit Save. And, guys, that is it. So, if you have any questions, comments, Please feel free to uh, comment below if you're on our YouTube page or on our website. Um, send me an email uh, with your thoughts and uh, if you have any ideas for any upcoming videos. So graphicdesignertips.com is where it's at. Check it out, guys. Have a great night. Peace.